Good evening, everybody. I may offend some people, but that is not my purpose. There are good people in all of these religions. All right. Um, if you don't know, the Christians, they all have a word for the non-believers. One for the Christian is heretics. For the Jews is goyim, which means that you are animal. And Islam has infidel, means a non-believer. A uh, couple of weeks ago, uh, in a situation with Islam, uh, 300 girls were kidnapped. And he said, in the name of Allah, I'm saying to you that all of these religions are all of these religions are connected. And they bind us and they have sent the world into a craze. And these writings are more or less like subliminal writings. We had libraries in Africa. We had over 700 books that the library was burnt down and they took all the books. They took the books, they took the artifacts, they took the scrolls, and the hierarchy has all this information. And they give us one book to read for ourselves. Now the Most High gave us a lot of wisdom. And for us to spend all of our lives in one book and not to seek any other knowledge, that's kind of crazy. And I want to talk about how they some of these religious treat their women. In Africa, long before they had the religions, the women were queens. And also, the queens were together with their husbands. They were hand in hand, height in height, together. Later on, when the coloners came in, the queen got down to this. If you look at the statues, that's what happened. I want to talk about some famous queens. There's a story about a, a queen. Her name is Queen Candace of Nubia. She had uh, a defense army that she had against Alexander who they call the great. They never tell you about this in African history in schools, but the Queen Candace, she had a military army and she made plans. Alexander, the so-called great, got wind of her plans. He backed off. He did not want to participate in fighting her and they never told you about her so I consider him as a wimp I don't consider him as great and I also want to tell you about some books you can start on your own there's a book called Infidel by Anya Harissa and she was they tried to murder her because she wrote this book. The book that the church doesn't want you to know, wants you to read, and there are some other books you can start. And also the Sphinx that is in Egypt. The real name is her and Cap. She is not a man. She is a woman. And that is her real name. <clears throat> and I have to say Herodias he was a white historian that went into Africa and he saw how the women were treated in Africa and the women would go and trade and the men would stay to mind the tribe so we have to understand our history concerning the treatment of women. There were women, they were slaves. They were equal to a man. And we have now followed 
the colonizer's way with abusing the women and putting them into servitude. This is not the way that I was taught when it concerns my history of Africa. Herodias went into Africa and he saw how these things were done. He went back and told the white civilization that what he saw was backwards. Now we know the white man has told us what, how he treated his woman because he had a stick and he pulled her by the hair. That's how he represented his woman. But brothers, we had women that ran countries and also they were warriors. Stop treating your women like they are below you. And study your African history. They want to say you're not from Africa and all like that and all this. But the first woman came from Africa. All, all people around the world came from that woman. The white man even said it. So how dare you treat a woman, a mother, a daughter, a child, like you have been doing in these religions? Study your history, brothers and sisters. And sisters. Right off the board, Mary sub stop, Philadelphia PA. Shot so loud, you would think it was a club spot. African Americans, although we all over the web, we the hood librarians. We ship the prisons too. We reach out and deliver to those that's bitten too. But it's more than a bookstore. You wonder we got it, mixed taste, DVDs and culture products. Black and Nobel got our hands in a lot of projects. We rock them all to come build the energy is positive. And remember, other teams is awake and conscious. Come through and experience this place of knowledge. They say they'll put it in a book if they wanna hide it from us. But we got them books so you can buy it from us. Something to read while you on a train or riding the bus. Get your read on, food for thought, get your eat on. Black and Nobel, I buy my books at Black and Nobel. Black and Nobel, I bought my books at Black and Nobel.